I'm Leonard Cole, the author of Chasing the Ghost, Nobelist Fred Rhinus and the Neutrino. In 1995, Rhinus won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his 1956 discovery of this remarkable subatomic particle. Fred was my older cousin, and he was an exciting and charismatic figure. I always looked forward to being with him at family gatherings, and I have an especially fond memory of a time when he took me to the Museum of Science and Industry in New York City. Later on, Fred's essays and poetry, his singing and his stage performances, and of course his grand scientific accomplishments, prompted colleagues to describe him as larger than life. Chasing the Ghost is not only about Fred Rhinus, but the fascinating object of his research. Neutrinos rarely interact with any other particles as they travel ghost-like throughout the cosmos. The disappointment that Fred and his supporters felt during the years before he received the prize was charmingly depicted in a recent popular sitcom, The Big Bang Theory, by science prodigy Young Sheldon. A primary feature of quarks is that they're always bonded together. But in that moment, I felt like a neutrino, destined to be alone forever. Neutrinos have proved so abundant that trillions pass unnoticed through every person every second. More than a half century after detection, neutrinos continue to be called ghost particles. In 1965, Rhinus became Dean of Physical Sciences at the University of California at Irvine. In 1988, the university celebrated his 70th birthday. Among the tributes to Rhinus that day was a letter from President Ronald Reagan expressing appreciation for his towering scientific achievements. If I were to be asked what, after 70 years of preparation, I look forward to, I would reply to have a good idea, to live uncomfortably close to the level of frustration which follows an ever-increasing awareness of the vast and unreachable body of knowledge which surrounds us all, to learn a new thing. Thank you all very much. Fred died in 1998, but the thrilling story of his persona and accomplishments is bound to captivate scientists and non-scientists alike.